Good evening all and welcome to another video on All Hail the Ale. It's Saturday night which means it's craft beer night. The beer we're going for tonight uh, is a new brewery to me. Uh, it's from Attenbury. It's this one. It is the Uncertainty Principle. And the Uncertainty Principle is a Vic Secret IPA weighing in at 6% ABV. Uh, and it was purchased for me by my good lady wife for Valentine's. Uh, this box of beers came from uh, Trembling Madness up in York and this is the first one of the batch. Uh, and it says, the uncertainty principle, also known as Heisenberg's indeterminacy principle, is a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics. Uh, and it's something we won't go into in this video because we just simply haven't got enough time in my aim for 10 minutes to cover it off. Uh, that, in fact, I know naff all about it. Anyway, uh, the beer contains uh, the usual ingredients of water, malted barley, wheat, oats, hops and yeast. Well, it's brewed and canned at Atom Brewing Co., uh, in Hull, and like I say, it's the first beer of theirs I've ever had. Uh, I find physics really, really interesting, astro and regular, um, as you may have seen by last night's review, and uh, yeah, this one hopefully will pique my interest in just the same way. So let's get it out into a glass and see what we think. So we're going to pour into my, one of my tiny rebel birthday glasses, because I can. And uh, the pour is pale, very hazy. We're not going to go for a massive pour. I want to get a good sniff of this one. That'll do. So we have a nice orange, peachy, very hazy beer. I'd say that's verging on chicken soup. There's very little light coming through that. Uh, and you've got a nice, robust white head on that beer. It looks good. Let's have a whiff. Subtle, fruity. Stone fruit through and through. And uh, we're talking. Nectarines, we're talking a little bit of mandarin orange coming through. We've got. Beautiful, subtle fruit flavors on the nose. A little bit of melon, but yeah, it smells really nice, really, really nice, and uh, I'm looking forward to this one. So it looks good, it smells really good. So the taste, cheers. It's a lovely beer. It is a lovely beer. The body, medium weight, silky smooth, verging on chocolate milk kind of consistency. Carbonation is soft, pillowy, really pleasant in the mouth, and the flavours are lovely. It's almost got that double dry hopped chewiness to it as well. The flavours are subtle. They are balanced. You've got a nice hot profile. The citrus is kind of coming through quite heavily. The stone fruit balances it all out brings a real smooth flavour overall. Really, really nice. It's an exercise in restraint. Um, it could easily have been pushed too far. Uh, and this one just allows all those beautiful, subtle stone fruit flavours to not be dominated by the citrus, but to play a really good supporting role. And... Yeah, that's nice. It's not overly bitter at all. It's quite sweet. The, the finish is hoppy. It's long. It's quite dry as well. Um, there's an element of dryness to that. And much of the bitterness that is there, and it is really low bitterness, does exist in the back end. Just bringing a little something to that finish and just letting you know that there is a little bit more than the sweet fruits going on the sweet balanced fruits that is and you just get that little hint of it's almost like cold you know when you have a mint in your mouth and, and you have a deep intake take of breath you get that feeling in your mouth that's what you get with this finish it's that kind of cold bitterness it's weird but it's very nice mmm 
lovely stuff. So, the scoreboard of Joy Time reveals that there have not been many check-ins to this beer at all. There have been, in fact, less than 40. You've got 38 check-ins with an average score of 365, um, which I think that's a little on the low side, don't you? Um, well, I don't know. You might be one of the 38 who've tried it. Um, but for me, uh, let me put the name in, the UP, the Uncertainty Principle. We're going to give it some points against the looks, the aroma, the body, the taste, and the finish, and some bonuses as well, if it does well enough. So visuals, let's revisit those. Let's top it off a bit, just so we can take a look at that lovely colour and that beautiful, beautiful, hazy white head. And, uh, yeah, it's rather, rather nice. So you've got the, the hazy orange. I don't know why it's focusing off to the side of my head. Hazy orange, nice white head. Beautiful. Looks more like a New England uh, than many New Englands do. So it's having a point. Uh, the aroma, subtle but pleasant. You've got that, that slightly mandarin note. You've got that lovely soft stone fruit, that nectarine peachy type thing going on. It's not strong in any way, shape or form. But it, as I said on the flavours, it's an exercise in restraint. I would like more on the nose though. Uh, I really would. Um, because that's the kind of thing I like. on the, I like a good nose to it. Um, I'm going to give it the 0.75, which is still very good. Uh, it just needs a bit more to really lift it to God tier, in my humble opinion. The body, spot on, perfect, would not change a thing. It's having a full point. Got a nice medium weight to it, silky smooth, pillowy soft carbonation. It is beautiful in that sense. And the same goes for the flavour. That's also having a full point. Because, like I say, that exercise in restraint and not allowing one flavour to dominate the other, not having too much bitterness, not having an imbalance of molten hops. It's just really, really good. And it's it's an easy drinking beer. And That little hint of bitterness towards the back end is really, really good. Uh, and the finish, like I say, poppy, long, subtle bitterness on the back end, that cold intake of breath type feeling with that bitterness. It's weird. One to try and experience for yourself, so I'm going to give it the full point. Uh, which means the uncertainty principle has got 4.75 out of 5 from me. Uh, value for money. I don't know what the wife paid for these. Um, I don't. But I'm going to say yes, value for money, if it comes under seven quid a can. We'll check that out and uh, I'll hopefully put it in the video description if I remember. Would I buy it again? I didn't buy it the first time, but absolutely I would buy this one again. Um, it's a really tasty beer, very well executed and just worthy of lots and lots of praise. And it can't have the full bonus because it didn't get a full five out of five, but 4.75 out of... 4.75 even out of 5 with two bonuses for good measure. Uh, so yeah, great, great beer that. And, uh, and a lovely theme uh, with uh, with all the science involved. And they do mention on the can side of the can is the science of brewing. And it is a science, let's be honest. It's, well, is it science or is it an art form? I think it's a mix of both. There is obvious science involved, but to get a really good beer, it is truly art. And this one is worthy of displaying in a good gallery. Let's put it that way. So we'll leave it there and say, that has been the beer. I've been me. Those down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got your like, comment, dislike, and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. And I'll see you again soon for another one. Bye for now.